will I be wrong if I say something is a non-living thing because at the atomic level, everything may, is made of chemi- chemical compositions. And if yes, then please comment about consciousness. So at the atomic level, everything is atoms, molecules, electrons, protons, neutrons, all that, subatomic level. So everything is atoms and at the higher level, molecular level, you have chemicals. And then you have biochemistry, the biochemistry of life. You have carbon compounds, you have amino acids that are the, that are the building blocks of life, etc. So we don't exactly have a clear definition of the boundary between living and non-living, right? So biochemistry is all about the chemistry of life. Life seems to emerge out of complex chemistry. The kind of life we have on our planet emerges out of the biochemistry of carbon compounds. So it is believed that uh, life emerged in the primordial earth because of the kind of conditions we had on the planet and the kind of chemical uh, composition we had on the chem- on the planet. But we don't exactly know what is the dividing life between non-living and living. Most likely living is a unicellular organism uh, with a single cell, maybe a nucleus within it and maybe DNA in the nucleus. So we don't have a clear definition of the dividing line between living and non-living. So, uh, so since we don't have a clear definition, we can't really say what is living, what, what is non-living. We know that we are living. We know that all life on planet is living. When we see life, we can say, yeah, this is life. But there are certain things that are on the dividing line between living and non-living beings. For example, viruses. Viruses exhibit properties that are of living beings. They also exhibit properties that are of non-living uh, substances. So viruses are, are are on the dividing line. They do have DNA, they do replicate, but they don't... Uh, there are certain things that like they don't uh, react to the environment. They don't uh, maintain a certain kind of... Uh, composition within within their living cells and all that so there are uh, there are certain things about viruses that categorize them between the living and non living boundary so so it's a good question and it's a question that's a, a matter of debate right now at the atomic level there is no life of course at the, at the chemical molecular level it's all chemistry there is no life it's only when you talk about biochemistry the chemistry that occurs within living beings that you're talking about life to some extent so is everything a non-living thing no we have life but we also have atoms we also have chemicals so you're talking about classification and nomenclature essentially that's the question that's what the question is so it's it's kind of vague that's where that's why biology and chemistry biology especially is not a very exact science the only exact science is physics chemistry emerges out of physics and biology emerges out of chemistry So you are talking in terms of more accurate uh, representations of nature when you only talk about physics. Chemistry is also reasonably accurate. Biology is a little little vague. So it would not be correct to say that everything is non-living. We are made up of non-living components, but there is definitely life within us. And we don't have a very clear definition of life. About consciousness, well, consciousness is another big mystery. It's one one of the mysteries that is now closely tied to the quantum world because consciousness seems possibly to have some kind of role to play in the observer effect and in manifesting certain things and all that, right? So we don't have a clear definition of consciousness. We don't have the vaguest definition of what consciousness is. All we can say is that we are conscious and other living beings are conscious, but we don't have a definition, a proper unambiguous scientific definition of what consciousness is. So that's another matter of great debate right now. It is now, consciousness is now beginning to enter the realm of science. Until now, it's been in the realm of philosophy and spirituality, which is separate from science. It is not scientific. But today, because of quantum mechanics, we are increasingly trying to understand the phenomenon of consciousness. Is it an emergent phenomenon or is it something else? Uh, many scientists would tell you that that that. Uh, Consciousness emerges out of the chemical, out of the biochemical reactions within the brain. So that is one possibility. Other scientists would strongly disagree with that. So as of now, until we can clearly define consciousness, we can't really start 
having a proper scientific discussion about this. So it's a matter of great discussion and debate right now, but it's not firmly entered the realm of science. It's still quite hazy and vague.